Hello everyone, welcome to the Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Out feeding the fish again. I bought some Azola again. Uh, careful, Black. People just balling up the Azola and tossing it out there. And they're eating it like nobody's business. But need, uh, like this yeah, I, f I forgot. I was going to run some through the grinder and I forgot, Gabriel. Next time I'll run some through the grinder just to see how it does. No, no, no. So he's grinding it up into a ball and then tossing it. No, maybe it's here. Maybe it's here. And yeah. they just right. disappear it. Yeah, they're eating it. But need them to need this. So need to run it. Need to put it through the feed grinder. Yeah. What color piece? Like mash. Oh. Hmm. Get some one. I need to get with Nolan, he's kind of our advisor because on, on the feed, because he, that was part of his job when he worked, I think he worked at a university, and he was, uh, they were experimenting on feed formulation for milk fish, and that's what he was in charge of. Now he says we can feed them up to 30% Azola. I didn't ask him, if that was dry weight or wet weight. Uh, bright sunlight, so I, I'm having a hard time getting right in on where they're eating. Put it here closer, Gabriel, just one time so I can so I can video it. Just put yeah, just put it right down here so I can so I can watch. There you go. I'm having a hard time seeing in the monitor because uh, it's a funny kind of sunlight. Yeah, they're not going. They're not going after that. And it's funny. They they devoured it. Throw it way back out there again, Gabriel. Maybe it's the. Maybe it's just has to do with the concentration of fish. Maybe it starts a little feeding frenzy. because they're not really that interested in that Azola right there. But when he, when he throws it out there, it just evaporates. And these guys over here are eating really well. Now uh, give me some, yeah. Okay. Mm. Let's check. It's okay. Yeah, why not? You try anything. A little more, maybe, or less. Mm. But mm. Mm. okay, oh, okay, enough. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think Gabriel's Gabriel's hit on the secret. Just mash it up fine, put it in a ball and toss it. No more Azula. I'm looking here and there's none remaining in the water. I mean they ate it all. Error. Gabriel's the genius. Sometimes. 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 
What, what time is that, Gabriel? When you when you don't listen to Jodelin, is that the time when you're stupid? Stupid. Uh, well, smart said what? When you when you don't listen to Jodelin? No, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can hear by the waterfall sound that he started feeding the, the larger fish. That's really what it sounds like, is a big waterfall right behind me. I'll feed these over here, Gabriel, while you're doing the experiment. How much, how many, still one sack each for two pins there? One sack each side now? Yeah, uh, ah, okay. Well, Gabriel, no scoop here? Oh my no. God, Gabriel. Only one my house. Hi. So, uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you couldn't steal one at my house, so, so now you don't have one. No one? No. <laughs> You're just bad, Gabriel. You're just bad. Here, I'll trade you. You can have this one. I can never remember to get one. I need to get one for Mitch's ponds and for here. And I can never remember. Here. I'll trade you. I'll give you the junk and I'll take the good one. They're broken. You broke it. All right, well, I'm going to get on to feeding these hungry boys here, boys and girls. Oh, is this my chair now, Gabriel? You brought me a chair out here? Because you're afraid I'll break your chair? What have you done, Gabriel? If, uh, when the time... Ah. Yeah. What, 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 what? Okay. Oh, very good. Okay, comfortable? Uh, comfortable enough. a feeding frenzy right there.
Well, that's in my pocket and I'm not going to get it. Now the nice, calm, relaxed feeding time isn't so much anymore. These fish are hungry and you got to get with it. If you need to repair this, Gabriel, we need to bring this back up. Because we're smiling. Ah. Yo, then, I remember. Yeah. Mm. You put the sack of feed down really hard and broke it? Yeah. The nylon, oh, in there. So these fish were on slightly short rations last week while we were waiting on the feed uh, to come from Cebu because I just uh, couldn't find it. Uh, again, we're to the point now to where we have to we have to order feed uh, through the company because there's just the local aggregates, the local suppliers. There's no way that they can supply us now. They just don't have enough uh, stock on hand. Most of them have 20 sacks, 10 sacks laying around that they might, and they, they you know, they stock for what they'll sell in like a week, and that's usually what they sell. So when I go in and I buy 20 sacks at one of these little local aggregates, well, that's all they've got. And they're not going to have any more for another week. And not every one of them carries it. And so I'd bought up everything in Taliban and Dubai and knew I couldn't get any more. And so just instructed Gabriel to cut their feedback. In anticipation of getting our order. Now, we, I put in another order for feed the same day that this arrived. So, if they're eating, Gabriel's saying they're eating 15 sacks a day, and these guys over here are eating two. Uh, so that's 17 sacks a day, that's our feed budget. Uh, so what's 17 times 7? Uh, that's 109 sacks a week. Um, or 119 sacks a week. What is 70 and 49? Yeah, 119. So uh, this 115 sacks that I just that was just delivered uh, will be depleted in well, a little bit less than a week. So I put in another order, a big order. I, I, I'm tired of I'm tired of this game with this uh, feed company. Uh, put in an order large enough to where we would have reserve on hand. Now we're not going to be able to store it here because the capacity of that caretaker house is about 150 bags. So anything more than that and it'll just sink. So what we need to do is put about another 20 barrels underneath it for more buoyancy or just build an entire new uh, storage platform for feed 
and that may happen as well. I don't know yet. Um, but we're definitely going to be really going through some feed here. I just put this in. The tide's going to my back, but it doesn't matter. Anything these guys don't eat, we'll just go into the pen behind me. It won't go to waste. So I don't know if these fish gained any weight at all in the last week because they were getting fed about half of what they're eating now and it wasn't this good feed, it was uh, a lower protein, lesser quality feed. So I'm guessing we're still right at about 130, 135 grams average weight they may have gained a couple grams or no who knows they're definitely going to have the feed poured to them now <coughs> hopefully uh, Ocialis can get it figured out um, as soon as this next order comes I'm going to be placing an even much larger order uh, we'll probably have to store that at the house we really don't have any other place to store it there's no budget to build uh, another platform at the moment we're still looking at about a two month harvest time uh, if they're 150 gram, 140, 150 grams right now, it's going to take two months plus to get them to the 500 gram sweet spot, uh, even if we do feed them well. I'm not sure at this time if we're going to have to uh, harvest some at 350 grams or not. Uh, dicey touch and go. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But these guys are doing pretty well. All things considered. So much more than they were doing last time. So much better than they were doing last time. A little bit less of a frenzy now, so I'm going to slow down a little bit. They're eating, but it doesn't sound like you're standing right next to Niagara Falls now. Right, Gabriel? That plant? I don't know, what is it? I have no idea. Is it is it a vegetable or is it a house plant? You don't know? Because no yeah. plant is whatever. You didn't you didn't plant any seeds? I have no idea what that is, Gabriel. Maybe uh, maybe maybe some uh, knowledgeable subscriber will let us know what that is. But this is Gabriel's little garden here. This is his onions. Uh, Jodelin appreciates having fresh onions to eat. These are onions out of our garden that were just transferred, transplanted here. No food, that's up. 
Some what? I can man, I can uh, put seeds or you can brands is a torok right? You could put seeds in that if you want. They would grow. Do you have any seeds? Oh no, no. You don't have any seeds? Yeah, I put seeds or babes or brands. Uh, from the soil, what you look at? Uh, it's a free. Natural seed? No English? Before I always absent. But you were always absent in school before? No. Well, that. Your favorite subject is recess. The recess, the rec. My favorite subject. You got your best grades in recess. <laughs> oh, hey, Gabriel. Time to snack, time to play. Snacks and playing, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, we don't. We don't know how to. back this way too. Why not feed everybody? The wind's blowing so throwing it up in the air and letting the wind carry it. Hello, Black. How are you, Blackie? You come to see me? Hmm? How are you, Blackie? Mm. What is it? Mm? How are you, Black? Mm? You're a good doggy. She's a good doggy. Yes, she is. You gonna come to help me? Mm?
What? What is it? Hmm? What is it, Blackie? Are you lonesome? Lonesome? You miss me? Hmm? It's a pretty good doggy. It's a pretty good doggy. Huh, Blackie? Yes, you are. You're a pretty good doggy. Yeah, they're eating, eating. I fed them almost two sacks of feed sitting here. Yeah, I knew you were out here to hustle some food. I knew it, Blackie. I knew it, Blackie. You were just out here to hustle some food.
You know, they look almost like trout. Gabriel, I don't think this needs to fall anymore. <laughs> Blackie's had enough. You know, Gabriel, I fed these, from that sack, I fed these about 10 kilos. Enough? No, 5 kilos. I fed these 5 kilos from that sack. 5 kilos? Like, yeah. Uh, uh, this? No, 5 kilos. Uh, 5 kilos. Uh, and there's, in so I, Huh? Uh, in no, I mean, uh, just, I'm just saying that just now I fed those fish 5 kilos. Uh, so they're hungry. So maybe 1.5 sack each side. I mean, feed them. Feed them a lot. Three sack or Yeah. Or four. I, whatever they'll eat. Keep feeding them. When is uh, when is Jodelin's brother coming? Or not Jodelin's brother, but your your uh, brother-in-law. Tonight. Tonight. Okay. Now, uh, yesterday, uh, huh. You slept here last night? Yeah. I said this third you told me this third day. I I am so ready to tell my brother in the way. Thank you. Thank you. My brother in the Okay, we can still go. Yeah, see these guys over here aren't that hungry because I was feeding them from uh, the large pen. Feeding them while I was feeding from the large pen. But these guys here are still starving. Now, uh, go to the, my brother, the one sister. My brother in Los Angeles, the one foot is already to cut. Yeah. I'll go to India. My one brother in Los Angeles. Did you mix feed in this already? No. No mix? No mix? Yeah. Why not? Because I blend the food. Yeah, they don't like it unless it's mixed. So that's 10 kilos of Azola, Gabriel. That's 10 kilos all. So I want you to feed them all of that today. 10 kilos every day, okay? Okay. Including the dry. So that will be about, uh, yeah, including that that, we're, that you're trying to dry. So 10 kilos of this and 25 kilos of the feed. Um, and we'll try that for a while and see how it works. That's about 40% wet weight. So we'll give that a shot and I'll try to bring you 10 more kilos tomorrow.
Well, if you have time, yeah. If you, because they harvest. My brother in law is the, uh, They harvest about ten. Kilos. In, no, they harvest about ten in the morning. Uh, ten to eleven. Ten to eleven. Is when they harvest the azola. Uh, the time. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here, Gabriel. I got other things I need to do today. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.